what is up mtv review it's your girl chloe and i am back with another youtube video so let's hop back into that thing all right y'all so if y'all couldn't tell by that title we are doing a step it up episode four season three review of hot water first off sage is in jail I don't know why, but I did not see that coming. Like, I know Sage just got done assaulting Rico at this performance after the BMT. But I did not think they was going to put Sage in jail. I'm thinking they just, you know, Sage just going to be back on house arrest, harsher punishments. But I didn't think jail. I didn't think jail. But Sage is in jail. And he ends up meeting this dude, Magic. Now, Magic, you know, he's keep coming up to Sage and he trying to give him some good, I mean, some advice, you know, trying to help him out. Sage not trying to hear none of that. He like, yo, I don't, he don't, look, Sage in jail, he don't know what to expect. Like, look, I don't want none of that. Leave me alone. Like, whoop, whoop, whoop. But by the end of that episode, he, you know, he started becoming friends with uh, Magic. That's his name. And we also learned that Magic, he was going to um audition to um go to high water but you know he end up deciding not to because he was he just got scared like you know he's seen all these professional people and he got intimidated so he kind of just stopped his dream or whatever but i find it crazy how he wanted to go to high water and he kept saying he had said to sage like uh if i would have i wonder what would have happened if i would have went you know would have went to high water like i probably wouldn't be here but i find it crazy because it's like you wouldn't have been able to meet sage let alone perform for sage he was getting that I ain't gonna lie when he was starting to dance for sage and sage was like oh you gonna impress me or not like you know he was trying to get into it but then he got into it and that mess was good like i'm not even gonna lie i was hyped off that but we get to see that and while sage was in jail it was this one dude i don't even know his name but he was trying to like extort sage uh for some money talking about oh yeah you gotta pay rent rent boy we is in jail we is in jail this is free ain't no rent but he only doing that because sage got money and he's supposed to hold some power in this jail so you know i guess he like the pod boss or something but he that don't end up working out for him because magic end up beating him up in the bathroom and sage over here looking like what like what? i thought you said not the uh watch your temper and all that he like yo you gotta know when to use it though but he beat him up and by the end of that episode magic he had after he got done dancing he ended up getting put in the hole because he had fought that dude or whatever i can't wait to see what's gonna happen with sage is he gonna get out of jail i don't even know but it's crazy how you can it's crazy because when sage was going in jail the first things that went through my mind was like damn um I hope Sage don't get beat up or like mess with because you know he's rich and like people are jealous and envious and they can want the stuff you have. I mean that's kind of basically what the big dude was who was trying to beat him up. But the other dude he was just trying to help Sage out like he really likes Sage. He said I could tell you a good person. We about to get on to Rico. Now Rico is on his high horse. We see him y'all he got that fresh bruise mark. Sage, Sage gave him them hands and we see Marquise and he's telling him about um the contract that he done signed or whatever because he about to start doing publishing and all that ooh, ooh, i don't know so he done signed some contracts and some paperwork and marquis he over here like well where's mine like you know i i write the song so where's mine I, you know he was like i write the songs like where's mine and you know rico he over here like you know it wouldn't really look right if your your name is on here and like you know i'm making a freestyle like people supposed to think i'm doing this so Marquis kind of, he feeling a little salty. He feeling a little type of way. And you can tell just by his little slight motions and the way he be looking at Rico. Like, he Marquis don't like the way Rico is doing stuff. Like, he wants to be included and incorporated and stuff. But Marquis is kind of like a back burner to him. I'm telling y'all, Rico, I'm not going to say Rico don't care about nobody. But he's very selfish. He's very, I feel like he's just so stuck in this moment right now because he's done this to King. He plays people. He uses them for what you he needs them for. And then when they want to like come up, shine, you know, 
something it's like oh um mm -mm, mm -mm. like you stay in the back you play the back role while i play the front role and uh, let's not get the roles confused we get to see tau and um angel and they're post and they're supposed to be dancing or whatever practicing rehearsing of course for this tour and marquise comes up and i didn't know where first off automatically angel she just get distracted like marquise he done distracted her whole routine um tau he was like come on like what's up woo, woo. and then he look over he see marquise tau is all out of it mind you if you don't remember in the first season marquise used to bully tau when he first moved down there to atlanta he used to bully him pick on him and that day that he had ran from his high school to hot water, Marquise was beating him up and he peed on himself, all of that. Like Marquise literally was his bully. So when he seen him, that really triggered him and he left. He had to leave for the day and he wanted to go home. He was not feeling it. When Poppy came uh, over there and she was just like, what's wrong with you? Like, you know, you, you supposed to not be feeling good, but you sitting over here eating Cheetos and watching TV. And he, and then she over here talking about some, you were supposed to be helping me today, Marquise. Uh, he had... He trying to run stuff. Uh, got an all gonna tell. He was like, don't mention that name. His ass. But I see, I don't know what's gonna happen with that. I hope Tao, he fights those demons. He's battling with Marquis. Stand up to him, talk to him. Maybe Marquis has changed. Who knows? Maybe he might be like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what I did to you. I didn't mean no harm by that. I was a kid just like you. Who knows? But at the same time though, Marquis was getting abused and beat on by Esto easto he was getting abused and beat on by him he was his corner boy that was his dad but he didn't even know that that was his dad and i feel like he was just taking his anger and aggression out on tau you see that a lot with kids or just people in general stuff going on behind the scenes at home we don't even know about and they look like they're doing all good and wonderful but it's just like they take their anger out on other people because they can't really take it out on the people who they want to because they're the ones getting bullied on bullies bullies have a bully so remember that so if you're getting bullied on or anything like that remember the person who bullying you they going through some shit too they getting bullied too so yeah let's talk about when they was at rehearsal so when poppy and them they was rehearsing um elderly and angel they sitting over there and they just like i know that they're not gonna ice us out like that like whoop, whoop. marquise walk in or whatever and he like y'all should put um angel up in there and then the white dude was like yeah yeah what's this guy named marquise yeah listen to him now angel <laughs> So poppy be being mean to them poppy be being green to them because she don't like them and I don't, she just don't like elderly because elderly is rich and she came from stuff and this school is for people who didn't come from nothing and you really come from you came from all this stuff and like you here and you getting all these deals and opportunities that are for people that are not as fortunate like you so that's her gripe with Odely. That's Poppy Gripe with Odely. Oh, let's talk about no, hold up. Let's talk about Odely and Angel because you know I love talking about Odely and Angel. Now, mind you, this whole entire episode, Odely is mad jealous. She is so jealous, impressed. She over here, Odely. She like, yeah, I know you've been noticing me and Davis. We haven't been hanging out a lot lately. Uh, you know, just we just need to focus, focus. Now, mind you, Angel ain't as focused as Odely. First of all, Odely ain't focused on that dog on stuff. Odely is focused on Angel and she want Angel to herself. She like Angel. Angel. She has a crush on her. Every time Marquise come around, she always side eye Marquise. She don't like Marquise. She looking at Angel like, come on, you need to focus. You don't need to be doing all that. You don't need to be hanging around him. All that. It seemed like it could be coming from a good place, but at the same time, she likes him. I mean, she likes her. So it's like we know you just doing this because you like angel literally anytime marquise come around they could be hanging out they could be at high water they could be anywhere he could just walk by and if angel attention shifts from uh Odely, she gets so jealous and it's just it's crazy because it's like you have a whole man and you over here gawking over her and she don't even like you like that for real she got her she's so worried about marquise now <sighs> Marquise hasn't been on his P's and Q's lately. Now, last episode, Rico and Sage, they got into it. Okay? They fought. Marquise wasn't there. He was with Angel. He's being distracted. Boom. In today's episode, Rico could have got shot and he could have got killed. 
he was too busy trying to flirt and mess around with angel and good thing uh Cla claudette she had security watching them so that wouldn't have happened because rico almost got shot tonight and then marquise and um rico they going back and forth with each other like he over here like, man, my bad, bro. I'm sorry. Like, and then he over here like, man, I see why my dad always had you on them corners. You don't pay attention. You messing up. Ooh, ooh. And then, you know, he like, look, like, come on, man. Like, and then, look, he like, you over here trying to worry about being me. You need to worry about, um, you know, doing your job, protecting me. You supposed to be writing the lyrics and you want to be in the, in the spotlight. I do not think Rico wants Marquise to be in the spotlight, but it's just like Rico, he need to be, he need to hope that Marquise keeps writing his work, okay? Because let's be honest now. Let's be completely honest. If it wasn't for Marquise writing all of them lyrics for Rico, Rico wouldn't be where he's at right now. Like, Rico doesn't strike me as, ooh, I got all this musical ability. We also see Poppy. Now, at the end of the episode, we see Poppy, she got this alert that uh, Rico was involved in a shooting. Now, she didn't know Rico didn't get shot, but Rico's not picking up his phone or responding to none of her texts. So she takes Al car and drive it, you know, on the other side of town to get to Rico. She pull up, she see Rico and Claudette on the stage singing to each other. And then she's having flashbacks of the stuff that Rico said to her. That she said to Rico and she and he's up here singing it with Claudette. And Poppy feeling some type of way like. So we're gonna see what's gonna happen with that. Now, when I was watching that, I'm not gonna lie. I was thinking, like, dude, are they catching feelings for each other? Are they like what is going on? But my thing, this is what I think Claudette is doing. I think she's being extra nice and doing all this good stuff for Rico because she killed his dad. I do not think that uh she would be being as nice to Rico as she is if she did not kill his dad. Like, she's trying to pull all these strings for him, do all this good stuff for him, be by him, support him, help him. She even let him go off on her, talk to her any type of way. Like, Claudette? No. She's just trying to make her wrongs, her wrongs right. And it ain't gonna work. Because I really cannot wait until they find out who the real killer is. Free Sage until he is free. Free him because he did not do nothing. I know Sage can be a stick in the mud. He can get on your nerves. But I like Sage and he did not do nothing. He did not do nothing wrong. Is Rico and um, Marquise still gonna be cool with each other after this episode? Is it gonna be a little tension between them? Jealousy, envy, who knows? I don't know. Um... Is Poppy gonna st is uh, Rico gonna stand up for Poppy because Poppy was not playing with him this season? Okay, um, what's gonna happen with Claudette and Rico and Poppy? Like, I hope that don't turn into nothing for real because I don't think that that's nothing for real. They was just drunk, smoking a little bit, and they just vibing. Is Sage gonna get out? Is Sage gonna get out by this next episode? Things are looking bad for him. Okay, he done got he got an, an assault charge on him. He got trial in four days. Hopefully, Sage can make it out. Who knows? And they gotta pay his lawyer, and the money kind of looking funny right now. Um, yeah. If, if Davis gonna break up with Odalie, if Odalie gonna break up with Davis, if Odalie gonna find, if Angel gonna find that Odalie likes her, if Marquise and Angel still gonna be messing with each other, child, y'all stay tuned for the next episode, I don't even know. That's it for today's video, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out this name.